big news guys yes there is a big news regarding exynos 2100 finally there is some benchmarks on the geekbench of exynos 2100 which is pretty much close to the snapdragon 888 yes i can say that exynos 2100 is almost competing against the snapdragon 888 and you can say that in some part the exynos has already beaten snapdragon 888 that's pretty amazing so i'll be discussing all of that in this video hey guys all about technology 24 into 7 here if you like what you're watching i would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you receive all the latest updates from my channel also like this video if you did let's now get started so let me directly start off by showing you the benchmarks of both Snapdragon 888 based Galaxy S21 and the Exynos 2100 based Galaxy S21. I did a recent comparison of these benchmarks but at that time Exynos was pretty much close to Snapdragon but as per the latest leaks Exynos is almost very much close to the snapdragon 888 and you can say that exynos will beat snapdragon 888 soon i can say and with this benchmarks when i compare the average results exynos has already beaten snapdragon i'll be talking about it in the latter part as you can see from this snapdragon 888 benchmarks here which was uploaded on the geekbench 5 as you can see first on the list we have snapdragon 888 based galaxy s21 996u1 this course 11053065 second 1110 and 3278 multi core is like pretty much low i can say here and single core score is pretty much good enough so let me show you one of the recent scores this one is one of the recents and it is uploaded on december 14th as you can see the time and this is android 11 running on a samsung s21 device not sure which one ultra plus or normal s21 as you can see this is the 888 processor guys not the exynos do bear that in mind so let me now directly show you the benchmark results of exynos 2100 which is recently uploaded on the geekbench as you can see first on the list we have got the latest benchmark which is of yesterday december 19th let me scroll down and show you a little bit more these are some of the recent ones december 18th it's also having september 23rd it says here okay let's not go older than december so let me show you december 19th one and as you can see the single core score 1089 multi core 3617 let me scroll down and show you the date and time because every time in the comment section there is one or the other guy who is accusing me of showing fake content which doesn't make any sense and as you can clearly see this was exynos 2100 let me show you the results now 1089 3617 guys just compare it with the recent snapdragon 888 benchmark it's so close i can say it's so close let me show you recent benchmark screenshot as you can see 1105 for the single core on the snapdragon and 3065 on the multi-core multi-core the exynos 2100 has already de beaten snapdragon in multi-core results and in single core results it's so close i can say some 10 points here and there so with this comparison, I can safely say that Exynos when it is fully optimized for the Geekbench 5 and even the Snapdragon, Snapdragon is already almost optimized I can say because we have got official Snapdragon results. Yes, it's higher than what we are seeing right now here, but still I can safely say that when Samsung launches the processor and when Samsung launches the S21 with Exynos 2100, it's likely that it will be equal to Snapdragon 888 or it can beat Snapdragon 888 in terms of benchmarks. Yes, it's already beating in the multi-core results as per today. With time passes, it will increase further. It will not decrease. Do bear that in mind as company goes on optimizing their processor optimizes for running benchmarks it will increase further it will not decrease whatsoever so that's what it is as of today so this was a quick little video showing you guys about how exynos 2100 is catching up with snapdragon 888 and in some parts it has already beaten snapdragon 888 chip what do you think about the upcoming exynos 2100 do let me know your thoughts in the comment section so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. 
Also do follow me on Instagram, link is in the description or it's appearing somewhere on the display. This is all about technology 24 to 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.